Hello, my name is Dr. Gerald Chodak. In March 2009, in the New England Journal of Medicine, an important article was published from a screening study taking place in Europe. Seven countries participated in this study with the idea that men would be screened approximately every four years with a PSA test. This study has enrolled over 160,000 men and the results are being reported now because there has been detected a statistically significant reduction in the death rate from prostate cancer as a consequence of screening. The numbers were the following. There were approximately 20% fewer deaths in the screen group compared to the control group. Now, that is the relative improvement. The absolute benefit, however, was not as impressive. It required testing 1,410 men and treating 48 men in order to prevent one cancer death. So a great percentage of the men that were getting screened were getting an unnecessary screening, and most of the men that got treated were getting an unnecessary treatment. Now, the results are being reported with more than half the men followed for at least nine years and the results started showing some difference in the two groups beginning at around seven to eight years. And this is important to acknowledge because the American study that is also being reported at least for seven to ten years in a smaller group of men has not yet seen a difference in survival. These results would help explain that. You either need a lot more men or a longer follow-up in order to begin to see a benefit from screening. But the message here is an important one. It means that screening does indeed offer some potential benefit, but it is coming at a huge cost, not in terms of dollars alone, but in terms of the number of men that do need to be treated in order to find some overall benefit. And that means that men are going to have to carefully weigh their decision on what to do. It means that if your goal is to absolutely minimize the chances of dying from prostate cancer, then getting a PSA test is one way to do that. On the other hand, you now have some idea of the odds of benefiting. In some ways, it's like buying a lottery ticket. In this lottery ticket, at least for nine years, your chances of benefiting by avoiding death from prostate cancer is only one out of 48. For some men, they, find, they may find that that benefit is just too small to take on the potential side effects that can occur with treatment, which are impotence and incontinence. Other men may say any chance at benefiting at all, even a small benefit, is worth undergoing. And for those men, they'll say, please let me undergo regular screening exams. Now, would they have gotten better results if they had done it more often? That's a question we can't tell. What would have happened if they used a different PSA cutoff to do the biopsies? We also can't tell what would have happened there. But the bottom line and the take-home message from this study is that screening at least at nine years does offer a statistically significant, although very small chance of benefiting by reducing your risk from prostate cancer death. Hopefully this information will be useful to you. Thank you.